All right, I'm going to talk a little bit on a ration type item that I do toss into cache totes that I do carry in my own personal bags. And that is bullion cubes. Now bullion cubes by themselves, they're not gonna give you much. You're looking at maybe 20 to 30 calories per cube which is not going to be enough to get you by. But in the middle of winter, toss a bullion cube or two into a cup of warmed water. You got some way to get something into you that your body will absorb a lot quicker because of the flavorings, in my opinion. Then it'll help heat you up. Maybe help uh, you stave off hypothermia just a little bit longer. By itself, it is not a standalone ration item. It's not going to keep you moving. It's not going to supply the calories and the nutrients for an entire meal. These are primarily meant to flavor other things, like bags of rice or some type of noodle. And it doesn't matter what type of noodle it is. It can be... A spaghetti noodle it can be an elbow noodle a penne whatever that you have with you just a dry noodle this is just some way to add some flavoring into that make it more palatable so to speak because for most people in the United States and the West plain rice is pretty boring you know if you're in Asia you're probably used to it but for most of us you know, we'll get tired of it pretty quick. But toss in a few bullion cubes in it while you're uh, hydrating the rice or hydrating the noodles. You're adding the flavor to it. You're also adding a little bit of salt to it to uh, give you some of what your body needs, but not a lot. Now, the two main types you're going to see everywhere is chicken and beef. And you'll find a little bit of variation, like you might find, uh, like these are chicken and herb bouillon cubes. Maybe there's a uh, beef and herb. I haven't come across it in my area. I've only found the uh, chicken and herb or plain chicken. The reason I stock the cubes is these can be issued out. So if we determine, hey, it's middle of winter, everyone should get X amount of bullion cubes to carry with them for this next patrol so that they can heat themselves up when they need to. Well, we just reach into here, pass them out X number of bullion cubes that they add to their ration packs. Now, there is another type of bullion out there. Try to zoom in a little bit here for you. Now this is tomato bouillon, but this is tomato with chicken flavor. Both of these are. You have a pack here made by Knorr, and per cube, these came out to 30 calories per cube. You have one here, Maggie or Magi, and this is actually made by Nestle, if you can see the logo in there, which it doesn't want to focus on. And these are 20 calories per cube. Now, I just uh, tried both of these as part of my lunch just to see what they were like. The Nor ones have more of a chicken flavor to them than tomato. And these... Maggie ones or Magi ones, they have more of a tomato veggie flavor like you see in the picture there. Now by themselves, not going to supply much calories, but they can assist with other things. Say do up a uh, about 8 ounces of uh, dry pasta. Toss in one, maybe two cubes of this into that. While you're rehydrating the pasta, you're giving it more of a tomatoey flavor. Now, there's another thing that I thought about. 
a little trick that we could try. Take a pack of beef bouillon, prepare it like you normally do with the beef bouillon pack in there. And I figured this would probably be the best for it. Use one bouillon cube from this type, toss it in with it, boil it down a little bit more, and you have yourself a ersatz spaghetti noodle if you think about it. You're gonna have the tomato flavor, the beef flavor from the bouillon in here with the longer type noodles. You know, it's not an exact copy for your mom's spaghetti, but maybe it'll trick your mind for that one meal, make you think that you're actually getting a more sumptuous meal than what you're actually eating. Things to think about for when you're out there camping or trying to survive. Little tricks that we can do with some basic type items. Things to consider. Do I recommend you have bouillon cubes with you in your bags? Yes, I carry them in my bags and I don't just carry around two or three or 10 like some channels recommend, the uh, big survivalist channels that tell you just have a couple. I put in an entire container. Uh, these bags here, are actually two containers each of bouillon cubes. I think they're about around 50 cubes per container. So I just empty, for in my personal bags, I empty one entire bottle or jar of cubes into a bag, squeeze out as much air as I can, and I shove it down in my bags and I have it there for adding to something else to give it a bit more flavor. Or like I said, middle of winter, or potentially it's summertime or spring. We got a cold rain out there. You're soaked to the bone. You need something to warm up. You don't have any coffee, don't have any tea, any cocoa, anything like that. P a couple bouillon cubes will do it. Replace a little bit of salt in your body. Trick your mind into that you're actually eating a meal. And it'll get some hot fluids into you. Things to consider to add to your packages for your rations. Now for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia Movements, always remember essayons.